Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly news roundup for Monday the 24th to Sunday the 30th of September. And get your party poppers at the ready, we finally got some games to show you. More on that later. First up, we should fall to our collective knees and thank Nintendo for Bayonetta 2. Platinum Games have said that without Uncle Ninty, their hair-swinging witchy sequel wouldn't exist. Executive Director Atsushi Onaba admitted that it was only with Nintendo's help that he was able to make the game. Is this the exclusive the Wii U needs to shift big units? Let us know what you think in the comments below. This comes in the same week that Reggie Filzame said that the launch of the Wii U does not spell the death of the Wii, presumably while listening to his mini disc player and driving a Sinclair C5 to Nintendo Towers. In other words, it definitely does. Some weird brilliant news now, and it's been another busy week on CVG, resulting in a slight change in format. Basically, there's been so much on the channel this week, we've put all the links at the end of the video. This should save you from clicking on a box that's only there for half a second, and it means you don't miss out on the rest of the show. You can click here at any time to go to... <laughs> only joking. No, really, here you go. So what have we got for you? There's a giant murder bag of Assassin's Creed 3 gameplay, including naval combat and British people getting axes to the balls. FIFA 13 is also here, and you can click the link to see us being rubbish at the biggest foot kick ball game in the world, not to mention the CVG review and our collection of hilarious glitches. If you want something more disgusting, I popped along to Wesker and Sons for a Resident Evil 6 event that involved ladies made out of meat and edible wangs. That's right, edible wangs. If you fancy something more wholesome, we've also got the Mr. Pandaria unboxing, plus stacks of footage from the Eurogamer Expo, including Halo 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, God of War Ascension, and much, much more. Check out the Eurogamer playlist for all our gameplay videos. In controversial hack news, ex-Sony PR Will Powers speculated this week that the company is sending titles out to die, citing games like Little Big Planet Karting, Sports Champions 2, and Wonderbook. Will suggested that PR layoffs would have a negative effect on sales. But try telling that to Sony's Fergal Gar, who insists that not only will Wonderbook survive, but will actually become PS3's best-selling first-party game this Christmas. Apparently, it's the most inspirational product that's been out for the move in two years, fighting off stiff competition from TV superstars, The Fight Lights Out, and Carnival Island. Halo 4 news now, and an update from 343 this week revealed that The Flood will be returning for the sequel. Thankfully, the lumbering fungus monsters won't be in the campaign, but are actually playable characters in the multiplayer. The Infection Star mode sees you joining Team Gravemind, and you can see our footage of how it plays here. Now here's a reason to be happy if you like computers, eyes, and computers for your eyes. The Oculus Rift is now available to pre-order. If you missed out on the Kickstarter, you can now get yourself a headset for the princely sum of $300. It's still in development, so support is scarce, but you'll be able to use the impressive piece of digital warlockery to play Mech Shooter Hawkin, Doom 3 BFG Edition, and Doom 4. And we'll finish up with some great news for fans of our Surviving DayZ series. Anyone? Anyway. The standalone version of the game is now set for release in 2012. And if you're down with cabbage-based web videos, you may be interested to see this cryptic tweet from none other than our friend Olaf. What does it mean? Uh, it means we might get around to making Season 2 at some point. That's all we've got for you this week, but don't forget to stick around for the CVG Linkorama coming up next, and please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you all next week.